right, hey everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Mouse Plastic. And um, today I've got the Voron 2.4, the uh, new and soon to be improved Voron 2.4. Um, I am basically rebuilding this for, the primary reason for this rebuild was to perform a bunch of upgrades all at once. Um, and I'm gonna go through the list quickly with you of the things that I'm changing on this printer. Uh, this might take a moment, so. Um, Top to bottom, uh, we're first of all getting a new frame. The original kit was a FormBot kit that came with black extrusions. And uh, I wanted an excuse to use these blue extrusions, which I purchased as a frame kit from LDO. So um, moving from the black extrusions to the blue extrusions, the black frame will still be available for me to use um, to set up a sandbox printer. This printer, you know, once I'm done these current mods, the expectation is it's gonna be my production printer. And so I'm going to uh, refrain from applying mods to this printer directly, but then the black frame that I have left over um, will be used to set up a sandbox printer where I'll be able to try out and test all sorts of different things. So part of these upgrades, uh, first thing that I'm doing here is, let's see if I can get a better shot, um, the BZI, so the beefy Z idlers um, installed here. And let's see what else. Um, I've gone from a two-wheel drive to an all-wheel all -wheel drive uh, configuration. And originally the rear uh, AB motors were LDO 2804 motors. Now I've gone to four LDO Kraken motors. We'll see how they work. They are mounted on uh, metal motor mounts. So hopefully, if, even if the motors generate a fair, fair amount of heat, it shouldn't be a problem for us necessarily. Um, I am installing a, a new electronics, Physitech uh, electronics mounting system or management system um, underneath the deck. So um, that'll be uh, shown in a future video. I'll have more detail on that shortly. The other thing happening here is um, I did have the original Heart K's uh, GE5C mod, and I've replaced that with uh, by Thor's Thunder fixed Z uh, joint mod. So that's in place. I have installed the um, Rock and Roll mod because I plan on, at least temporarily, I'm going to be flipping this printer up and down significantly. And once I'm done and the printer is in a stable configuration, I may remove these um, just to get them out and maybe use them on my sandbox printer, which I'll use in the future. A um, couple other things happening with this printer. I'm going to be um, looking at installing um, different tool head as well. So uh, instead of the rapid burner that I've been using for a while, I'm going back to the Trident True Stealth Burner. And the reason being is that Big Tree Tech has sent me their um, ultimate turbo kit, which I plan on installing on the tool head. So expect that the um, tool head on this will be a modified stealth burner. Uh, it's going to have the Nomi 2 display as well as a CPAP configuration from the ultimate turbo kit. So that's the primary reason for that. And just full disclosure, uh, that ultimate turbo kit was sent to me by Big Tree Tech at their cost. Uh, with uh, the agreement that I would produce some content for it. So again, look for that in a future video. Uh, shout out to Happy Manufacturing who um, produced these, uh, these rear panel, um, custom rear panel with my logo. Um, I really like and appreciate the look. Um, Happy has been very great to work with. I've got more custom panels for other printers coming from him uh, in the next week or so. So I'll post more content about that as it happens. So yeah, look for more in this Voron 2.4 upgrade series. As I perform each upgrade, I'll post a short video about uh, each of those upgrades and we'll see how it turns out in the end. Again, thanks for watching. Bye for now.